Morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and you can see here that we are um, in the middle of a bounce. And we did 1903 yesterday, and we have been able so far in Globex to get over the prior day high, which was 23 half. So, you know, I have I have rules for band rides, and absent a major reversal that would close below the lower band down at 1907, this band ride is likely over. So it was five days and, you know, about 65 handles worth. And, um, you know, I'll be sorry to see it go, but, you know, there's always another one coming around the bend. So um, where do we go from here? Well, you have to operate under uh, under the uh, under under the assumption of what the market's telling you right now, which is that 1903 is a low, it's a low, okay. I also, you know, I was telling my subscribers last night on on the um, on the evening subscriber webcast that um, the underlying tone of this market is changing from a straight up one way uptrend to more of a two sided market. And if that's true, then what we're going to see is we're going to see a bounce and it's going to bounce into some key areas. 3637 is a key area. The 50 day exponential moving average obviously is a key area 1940 half. If we start to see consistent resistance on tests of the 50 day exponential moving average, just as we saw it build into support here, if it consistently becomes resistance as we get higher, then this is most definitely a two-sided market. And it's a two-sided market that's going to extend uh, likely below 1900 in the coming month or two. If we're able to get over the 50, then you really have the true test, which is the test of the middle Bollinger Band, the 20-day simple moving average, which currently is 5464, where will it be when we get there? Who knows? Um, so, you know, it's it's a situation where we're bouncing from a low. We needed to make a low because we've been on a band ride for, for quite some time. But whether the low is the start of another, you know, V-type recovery where we go ahead and make new highs, we are we are miles away from answering that question. That said, on, on a very short-term basis, we are oversold. We're not ridiculously oversold. We worked a lot of that off when we did the bounce from 1910 up to 1937. So we are not tragically oversold. We never really got a second leg down. So I'm not in the dramatically oversold camp. Really not. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's not there. It's not in the charts. It's not in the... It's not in the internals. We are not dramatically oversold. That said, the price action and the news supporting that price action seems to be that, you know, we want to do another bounce, which is fine. But as long as we are below the 50 and below the 20-day simple, we remain in sell rallies mode. So I don't want people to lose sight of the big picture, which is we're, this, is a more, this is more of a two-sided market two-sided markets that want to trade below middle band are sell rallies markets. Um, if a two-sided market wants to trade above the middle band, then the rule is buy dips. So we have rules for a reason right now. Sell rallies is the rule, but you can't sell a rally unless we have a rally. So I'd like to see a couple day bounce here, uh, take advantage of that going up and then, you know, find something um, to, to get short. You know, 36, 37 extending up to 40 is a pretty good um, exhaustion type target zone uh, for this bounce. All right. Everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.